everybody, this is your man the Trucker Dad Smith and we're back with another video. Today we are going to attempt to make B-Love's sauce that she uses when she does her, uh, she does her mukbang. Or seafood, seafood. Food, seafood mukbangs. We're going we're gonna to attempt to use it and make her sauce. Right now, so far. This is going to be our first time making it. Yes. So far in our the blender cup, we've got our onions and our uh, garlic and I'm going to get ready to put some ginger in here. We've got... Uh, and she also said ginger was optional because I know some people don't like ginger. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use a little bit. We got Old Bay, lemon pepper, oregano. We got some chili powder here, paprika. Garlic powder, black pepper. And however you say that. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Oh, and then I don't know if we're using this. But just, well, I, just a little bit for a little, little spice. spice, you know, because we like spice around here. But yeah, uh, and we it, got brown sugar. Oh, yep, yes, and we got brown sugar. Came here for a little bit of brown sugars. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is all the stuff that she mentioned, mm -hmm. except for this um, this habanero sauce, that that hot sauce, because we want it to be a little more spicier, because mm -hmm. we like spicy stuff. But everything else is what she mentioned. And and, and the Cajun spice. Can't forget about that. Yeah. yeah, can't forget about that. Everything else, this is what she mentioned. This is our first time making it, and hopefully it comes out good. So yeah, and then I, I you say well, you see what uh you see what ingredients we have. Next, we're gonna show you the finished product, and then we're gonna get to eating. Okay, we got, we got our we got our pot with the uh the crab legs over here. Then we got the, the the pot to mix all the ingredients together. So when we see you guys in a minute, we're gonna be eating. What's up, YouTube? This your man, the Trucker Dad. Oh, and we're back. You said yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna actually cut that part off because we've already done our intro. Anyway. We got the thing jumping off and everything. So we got our uh, our crab oil. We got our bee love sauce right here. Yeah. Can't wait. We got crab legs. We got hard boiled eggs. We got potatoes and shrimp. You ready, honey? I'm ready. Right, we also got some lemon too. Yeah, so. gotta have a lemon. I mean, we're gonna do it all the way bee love style. So. Oh yeah. Anyway. We gotta get we gotta get our bags. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. My apple juice. Put all of our um. All of our little droppings oh, yeah. in the bag. Oh, yeah. This is going to be messy. Yes, it is. It's going to be delicious. Oh, yeah. Ready to dig yeah, in? Yeah, let's dig in. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for these crab legs. Yeah. Oh. And just like I just said, it's going to be a mess. Mm. Everything is a mess for me, y'all. Don't <laughs> I don't even know how to eat, so. You don't? Mm. My clothes have to eat too. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that flavor. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, look at that right there. Mm. Favorite part when you don't have to do too much just to. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got to get. Oh, it looks just like hers, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. That is really good. Mm. Mm. Good one of these potatoes. Seafood is one of the things, just like spaghetti, I could literally eat it every day. Me too. Me too. And seafood actually isn't that bad for you, actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, something you never get tired of. Oh. Ah. Especially crab legs. Oh, the only thing we're missing? What's that? Lobster. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, that's that. okay. That'll be the next one. Mm -hmm. That will be the next one for sure, because guys. Because the grocery store, I guess, and, uh, the giant eagle I went to. Yes, and they didn't have any king, unfortunately. I should, should yeah, just went to one. Yeah, we wanted that bigger. Mm -hmm. bigger oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> kids, you saying this? This is what it's like trying to shoot around smaller kids. The four-year-old. Yeah. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try an egg. Yeah, buddy. So how was your day, Ooh. honey? Good, because yesterday I did not feel good all day, oh, guys. Didn't? I was not. Mm. 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 There we go. 
Yesterday was pretty rough for me. I don't know. It was know. pretty rough. I had the worst headache I've ever had in my life, you guys. <laughs> That's what you do when it's just so good. Mm -hmm. um, but like I was saying, I pretty much... And yes, I'm drinking my cranberry juice up because this is mine. Only for me. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, hey, it's yours. You do what you want with it. So... <laughs> like I was saying, um, I was pretty much in the bed or just lounging around all day yesterday. Like, my head was hurting so bad. I called him crying. I was in tears. Yeah, she did. Mm. She did. Mm. Mm. Everything. Mm. I gotta squeeze some lemon. And that's what she does. She squeezes out lemon juice. Mm -hmm. On her. Mm. Ooh. See, I. It's tender when it just come out like that. Mm -hmm. When you don't even have to cut it up. <laughs> mm. yeah. I like cutting it up though. I mean, I don't mind either way as long as I can mm -hmm. get all the meat. Mm -hmm. I don't like wasting none of it. Right. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think of the sauce? You think mm. it's good? It is good. Mm. I really wonder how she came up with all those. I wonder if she was just in the kitchen one day. Just throwing everything in there, and then she just liked the flavor. Yeah, that's possible. And then stuck to it. But I mean, there's tons of videos mm -hmm. out there with people doing um, these mukbangs mm -hmm. and using her sauce. So um, yeah. this is our first time trying her sauce in our first time. Well, the hubby made the sauce of course. by himself, but I mean. Like, he likes to cook, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I call him the master chef, you know. I've learned a few things about cooking from him. He's more of, I'm going to throw a lot of stuff in there and try it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm more of, like, that scary cook, like the safe, the safe one. Like, I don't like changing a lot of stuff up. Right. That's just, like, in life for me, period. Like, if I learn how to go somewhere one way, I swear... No matter what, every day I'm going to go that same way. No matter what, because I have such a fear of getting lost. Right. So, I rarely switch things up. He's more of that type of person. Mmm, this is good. It is. Mm. And I'm more of play it safe. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry for not talking a lot. What What's trending right now? What are some topics that... The government shutdown is trending right now. I feel like that's never going to... That's not never going to Because I don't... I don't really don't feel like that's going to end, y'all. I don't know. I mean, he's already said he's going to do what he needs to do to make sure that this wall gets built. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter who loses what in the process because it won't be him losing anything. Okay. People on my phone see what's trending. Mm -hmm. See what is trending. Cops confront R. Kelly at Trump Tower to check on women allegedly being held hostage. TMZ, 14 hours ago. Mm, what's that about? Mm. It says, uh, that's crazy. Mm, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. Okay, R. Kelly came face to face with cops in Chicago after an anonymous caller claimed the singer was holding two women hostage. Uh, this happened 14 hours ago, yeah. It's, uh, the Cook County State Attorney's Office got a tip that Friday that Kelly was at Trump Tower, uh, at his Trump Tower residence with the women, and he was holding them against their will. We're told cops raced to the property and made contact with R. Kelly and the women. Our sources says five officers came to the home and ordered Kelly, to kill, uh, ordered Kelly into the room while they questioned the women. According to Chicago PD, both women said that they were at the residence, residence voluntarily and nothing untoward was going on. Police then left without incident. We are told that the two women are Jocelyn Savage and Azriel Clary, both who claim they have maintained that they were with R. Kelly voluntarily, despite their parents' strong claims that they were victims of brainwashing. Wow. You mean, I mean, at some point, I'm sure they are victims of being brainwashed because I believe both those women have been with him for a long time. Mm -hmm. And... It's sad because one of them, their parents, her parents have been trying to just like, just let us know you're okay. And, mm -hmm. and they can't even do that. 
R. Kelly sitting there trying to out people and you know what I'm talking about calling gun threats to the uh, the preview the, the preview screening to the surviving R. Kelly thing. Police uh, allegedly it was his people that was doing that. Nothing is ever him, right? right. Nothing. But anyway, <clears throat> off of that. Off of that. Sad. Yeah, very sad. I seen um on the news that this 13 year old girl who was I don't know all the details, but she was missing for 30 plus days. Both her parents were murdered, and the person that murdered her parents held her hostage. Wow. And she was able to get away. Um, she was able to flee somehow today. She was about 65 miles away from her home. She didn't know where she was, but wow. a stranger, she flagged somebody down and was able to help her. But I don't know too many of the details, like I said, because I just heard about this a few hours ago, but the stuff people do in this world. People are sick, man. People are sick. But anyway. Especially when you do stuff to children. Yeah. There's a special place in hell for people like that. And that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Absolutely. Special place in Absolutely. hell. Absolutely. I've seen uh, Monica released a new song on uh, iTunes called... Um, <laughs> I heard it earlier and I don't remember. I think it's called Committed. I hear she's going through a excuse me, a divorce from her husband, um, Shannon Brown. Oh damn, man. Yeah. Wasn't it supposedly relationship goals? Uh you know what, I don't look at nobody for relationship goals, okay? <laughs> because because to look at somebody to look at a couple as relationship goals, you have to know the couple's relationship. Right. So just because you see them on social media or, you know what I'm saying, you see them, you hear stuff about their relationship, just keep in mind that's only a fraction of their relationship. Mm-hmm. So. Because you're not, you're saying they're not recording 24 hours a day. No. So you don't know the struggles, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. You don't know, we don't know any of that. Yeah. So. We just know what goes on with us. Yeah. I'll be my own relationship goals. Because I know what goes on in my relationship. Right. Oh, girl. <laughs> because he absolutely hates <laughs> when I do that. If I do that while I'm on the phone with him, he will automatically, no doubt, what do you do, honey? I hang up. That hurts my nerves. Since y'all love her so much, y'all go ahead and spam oh whatever the fuck she said, whatever the heck she said into the uh, comment section down below. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What do wives do, though? They live to... Torture their husbands. At least this one does. You should not do that. That's not good. I love, he used to always give me this look. Back in the day, he don't do it anymore, but. It's kind of warm in here because it's, we in Ohio, this is very cold. So, we got the heat on a little bit. And I'm always cold. Yeah. But we're downstairs in the kitchen area and it gets a lot hotter hot. than it does upstairs. So, if you see me keep pushing my glasses up on my face. You sweating? It's, yeah, sweating a little bit. Want me to turn the heat off? Nah, you're good. Because I really could. Um, well, yeah, you Turn don't. the heat off until we're done recording. Well, that, would, that would be great. Because we're down here. And, and plus, we're around all this seafood, so yeah. it's probably dying a little bit. Right. Right back, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, y'all still struggling with this cloth. Should have gotten some pliers or something, but, you know, I didn't. It's the real deal. Yeah, it's definitely the real deal out here. The real deal, baby. Mm. Alright, I'm back. Did y'all miss me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, Definitely yeah. a different vibe than our last video. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You were saying, did you want to tell them why you felt, or did you not want to go there? I mean, it was probably confusing to a lot of people that watched it. Um, because I didn't say much. Um, I just kind of broke down. Mm -hmm. But... Um, it wasn't necessarily, not necessarily, it was not because of 
the whole R. Kelly thing, although it does sadden me and it is wrong, and I'll, I'll never agree with or be okay with anything to that magnitude at all against women or just people in general. You know, um, the abuse and the torture, and you don't even understand how, ooh, the, the mental torture that goes on after all of that. Even if you are free, you, you still might be mentally imprisoned. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that could be for many, many years. And so, for me, I thought I was going to be okay doing the video. Um, excuse me. And what y'all don't know is that before we recorded that video, we had recorded a, a one prior to that. But we did not upload that. Yeah. And we were talking about the same stuff. And it was before we had watched the... Um, the R. Kelly thing. The last half of it. Yeah. But we were still talking about the R. Kelly situation. I was fine. Like, it didn't hit me the same way. It didn't, you know, it didn't bring up that emotion. But for some reason, I don't know if it's because after I seen the, the ending of it, and it was just like, wow, you know. But for whatever reason... It got to me, and I didn't expect that. Because otherwise, I probably would have uh, refrained from doing the video, or I would have explained more mm -hmm. in the video, so it wouldn't have been so probably confusing to mm -hmm. you guys. But, um, yeah, so. But, I mean, I'll be 35 soon, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyway, <laughs> this happened <laughs> many years ago, um, before the age of 21. But I was already past 18. And I was raped myself. So, and the person that actually raped me is the same person that killed my oldest daughter's father. And all of that happened while I was there. So I was witness to all that. But um, I think it brought up the emotions of like, just I just feel like how, like, how dare you be, how dare you think that, that anything like that is okay? Like, right. in... No way ever, 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 ever is that okay. And, like, a lot of people don't know, like, you know, it was a little after I turned 18, actually. And then my daughter's father was murdered when I was 19. And I was pregnant with her. And it happened next to me in the car. Mm -hmm. But um, I went through, I mean, I'm okay now, but I went through many, 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 many years of um, self-hate, self-torture. Um, also treating people around me that really cared about me bad, uh, especially uh, my husband. He walked into a lot with me, um, and none of it was intentional. You know what I mean? But I really um, dealt with a lot of emotions with not saying anything, and I feel like because I didn't say anything, he was free still to do what he did to my daughter's father, and. There was no reason for that, you know, so I had the whole guilt of never saying anything and then the whole I was there, my brother was there, my brother was shot eight times that night and he survived at that time. And then I wasn't hit by the grace of God, but thank God, I, I feel like I really know everything happens for a reason. I was carrying a child at the time, so thank God my life was spared, but I had survivor's guilt for a long time, like why did I survive? And I think my brother suffered from that too because there were times where he would break down, but it was like, why did I survive? Why didn't this happen to me? I knew who this guy was. My daughter's father didn't. You know, all these emotions all the time, constantly, and not really having a lot of people to talk to, a lot of people to turn to. Not that I didn't have close people around me. My mom was always there. You know, my sister was always there for me. My brother was always there. I had a few small friends, you know, my brother's baby mama, who I consider a sister. We've known each other since the eighth grade. She was there for me. I've, I had people there for me, but they didn't understand what I was going through. You know, um, 19, pregnant for the first time, was planning on marrying this guy, and all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he was gone. And right in front of my face, like, how do you... I wanted to die myself. Like, the whole pregnancy, I wanted to die. The whole... I couldn't... I couldn't get my mind to be okay. I mean, it took long, and it wasn't until I see my daughter's face that everything clicked, like, you were supposed to be here. You don't have the right to feel like that, you know, but it didn't take away the the feeling I had of someone took advantage of me, and I always considered myself to be a strong woman. I always considered myself, 
maybe that was the naive side of me where I felt like I was invincible and certain things wouldn't happen to me and maybe that's why certain things did happen to me. Makes sense. Don't make a rabbit. <sighs> Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to learn too though that me holding on to a lot of stuff in my life because for so long I thought that that was hurting the people that hurt me. But it really doesn't. Uh, they really still go on with their lives. They really, like, I seen the dude who did this to me online a few years back looking for pen pals. <laughs> so, while he's in prison for life. Um, That's the craziest shit ever. I'm trying to, I never understood how that shit worked, that whole pen pal shit and prison shit worked. And then... <laughs> Like, you had your whole name out there, what your charge were, was, you're in there for 187 murder, you're doing life in prison, and you just need a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I, I'm like, wow. And and I'm out here living, I'm free, but mentally I'm not free, I'm tortured. You know what I'm saying? Because I allowed that to be the case, because I didn't know what to do. I've been to counseling. Um, and I'm, I, I'm a huge advocate for counseling. Like, if something's going on, find you somebody to talk to. Definitely, because I was at a really low, low place. I was also very young. Like, I, I've never thought about killing my myself, actually. I don't even have the balls to do that. Um, but there was a lot of days where I wished, like, why can't I be dead now? You know, and like I said, it was because of survivor's guilt. I found out I had suffered from PTSD also, which I thought that was just something that veterans suffered from. I didn't know average, everyday people like myself. could suffer from that until I found out that the suffering comes from a traumatic event that happened in your life. Yeah. So, suffering from anxiety. You know, that's another thing. People are so embarrassed that they try to shove, like, um, mental health issues under the rug, but so many people suffer from things that was really out of their control in some yeah, way. That's true, though. And sometimes it's the reason why you have people going into schools or into facilities and shooting stuff up. and I mean, like I said, I've never felt that low. But I can understand how people can get to that point. Right. They don't get some type of help. And people make you feel ashamed if you need help. And that's what's sad, especially in the minority community. You know what I'm saying? It's always what we're always taught, though. Whatever happens, hold it in, keep be quiet, don't say nothing, blah, blah, blah. blah. Suck it up. Yeah, get over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's not realistic. It's not. It's really not. For every situation, it's not realistic. You know, a lot of the times, people don't know what to do to get over stuff or to deal with stuff. And so, that's why they end up doing things that are really not the best thing to do. You know what I mean? It's really not healthy. That's where that comes from. So I think that, you know, you never should frown upon anyone that's going through anything because you can also, things change in the blink of an eye. You can also be in their shoes one day. Yep, you damn sure could be on the receiving end of the, whatever you sitting there. Judging and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that, you, it just depends on the person, but sometimes you can go to them like, yo, man thing I was back and foul towards you on just happened to me. Mm -hmm. Now they can they could sit there and be like, oh my God, let's talk about it. Or they could uh, or they could sit there and brush you off like you did them. And but and realistically if they brush you it doesn't make it right, but if they brush you off, you kinda had it coming. Cause, yeah. Cause when they came to you for some support and somebody to talk to, you brushed them off. Mm-hmm. And it's important to never do that to somebody if they're going through something, you okay? Mm -hmm. Or if they're hurting because you don't know the extent of their pain. And that, just you being there could make a big difference, you know, in a major way. And I feel like sometimes we forget that because everybody's always so caught up in living their own lives. Mm -hmm. You should always live your own life, but it doesn't take a lot to be there for somebody. It really does. You never know whose life you could change just by being there. Yep. So, mm. what? You greedy don't self. call me greedy, y'all. When he ate like three of the eggs 
Okay. You no, know, the innings is pretty much, there's three left. There was eight. However many that is, you do math. Yeah. He ate like 10 eggs. <laughs> there was only eight to begin with. <laughs> no, but I am like, he ain't talking. Okay. Um, so anyway, oh, sorry, we kind of, I kind of went on a tangent there, but yeah. that was the reason why. Mm. I'm getting by full, though. Damn. Damn. That was the reason for the emotional breakdown, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to call it in my last video. You see, y'all make sure y'all. I am okay, you guys. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all drop them. We support you. We support you, uh, Tika, in the, uh, the comment section down below. Spam that up. Mm -hmm. That would mean a lot to me, guys. Yeah. I promise you, I'm okay. Yeah. Make sure you also like, share, subscribe, and comment on these videos, and let us know anything you want to see in the future. Any videos you want to see us do? Mm-hmm. Any, anything you want to hear about us? And oh. we're we definitely going to be titling this one, Be Love's Life Sauce Mukbang, some shit like that. Yeah, because this is... Yeah. Oh, shoot. Sure. Hopefully, when she's got, over, she's got over a million subscribers, we plan on getting there one day. Now, I think this is, this is, I believe, I'm claiming that this is going to be the year that we hit a, a million subscribers. That's what I was going to say. Do you guys have um, any major big goals for 2019? Um... One of my big wishes, though, is that this president gets out of office. Ha! Huh? And then also, all you, uh, you saying YouTubers out there, what are your goals? You just drop them down in the comment section down below as well. You know what I'm saying? Let's get let's get a dialogue going. You know what I'm saying? That's it'd be nice to hear other people's goals, like your your life goals, your financial goals, your relationship goals, mm -hmm. your personal goals. Mm -hmm. And then you know saying we'll just make this a little serious. We're told just discussing goals, uplifting each other, you know. Your health goals. Yeah. Your all around goals. What are some of your goals, honey? Uh, I think for us to try to start some type of little series about that, we should start it mm -hmm. off. And then uh, ask trucker dad. I just want to start that. Yeah. You got yeah. and another goal of mine is to help you get your channel started. Your personal channel. Yeah, I, I um been slacking y'all, but um that's one of my goals too for 2019 is to kind of open up more. Cause I'm more of a I don't I don't know if you would want to say closed off person. He probably would say that, but I am extremely private. Extremely private. Mm -hmm. I have always been that way. So for me to open up more of my life or no to open up my life in general and open up myself and everything he's not understanding that that's just not easy I'm but not i understand. also understand that you asked me to push nothing, you so i push you so that's not that i don't understand i'm just doing what you asked me to do nothing that you really want comes easy though right you know i exactly. like the camera i hold i like the whole aspect of recording and you know stuff like that i like that i watch a lot of I, I would say about like uh, eighty percent of what I watch is YouTube videos. Right. Um, I don't watch a whole lot of TV, but I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So, and that started when I got pregnant with our son, and I just was in the bed all day. Yeah. Um, and see, I didn't even know. Just, I knew people would put like music videos and stuff like that on YouTube, and did, she said she wanted to do YouTube. So I started doing, you know, doing the research and. Find out everything and started buying equipment and everything like that. And that's how that's how we ended up with this channel right here. Because excuse me, because I, I personally felt like if I didn't go ahead and start, it was never gonna get done. So I took the initiative and that's why, you know, I, I started the trucker dad, you know, the whole little thing. Cause I figured if I do this and I show her it's easy, she won't be so fearful. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the trucker dad. Uh, and it was just more fear of like just like I said, opening myself up mm -hmm. that way because um, you're gonna have a lot of people judge you and a lot of people have stuff to say, but I feel like people do that anyway. Exactly. People do that behind your back, in your face. Mm -hmm. People are always talking. Yeah. Um. That's just kind of the way <laughs> the world is. And I did that on purpose because I just feel like being an asshole right now. What? 
Making a mess. Making a mess. Need a bib. Yeah, I do need a bib. Cause actually, I don't have nothing on me. <laughs> well, you gotta why examine you, everything. You keep, but you keep shaking the damn table. You can say, I ain't came and said, Ooh, this bit the sugar table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no she mess made, on me. Yeah, you don't, but uh, if you, when we watch this video back, you're going to see how, time, how many times you shook the camera. Because you shook Am the I camera. shaking the camera, y'all? You, 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 you have been. That's why. Uh, you know, this shit not shook the table. He's just mad because he got a, a little mess and I don't. I don't care. It happens. Haters never prosper. Who's hating? That'd be you. Never. Mm -hmm. Never that. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Cause I'm a west side uh, boy, yeah, punna, punna, punna. Oh yeah, where's everybody from that watches us? Okay. Leave that down hmm? in the comment section below too. Yeah, where you where from? Where are you watching from? And what kind of mukbangs you guys like doing, or you what kind of mukbangs you guys like watching? You know. Mm, I don't know what. I that oh, what's your? You what's your favorite category? To watch on YouTube. You say, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We want to know. Yeah. And we live in Ohio right now. We're not from Ohio. We hate it. Um, we hate it. Hate this weather. It's cold. It's snowy outside. Yeah, if you were to see outside right now, outside oh, of our windows, God. it's ugly. It's very ugly. Uh, the winter is um about to hit us pretty rough, probably. Yeah. I mean, I am full. Yeah, we kind of, um, he ate most of the stuff, y'all. Yeah, I did. I mean, they've been seeing me. I've been seeing that human vacuum cleaner. Garbage disposal. Yeah. That's okay because whatever we don't eat, the kids will. They already are actually waiting yeah, for yeah, us they, to they chomp, they sitting stop at, uh, recording. They sitting at uh, the the, the, uh, the entrance for the dining room, chomping at the bit. They you saying they've got food in the in the kitchen cooking now, but you saying like they they want that they want this and that. <sighs> they. They always yeah. Anyway. Kids. Yeah. You ready to sign but, off, mommy? Well, uh, so what is your final thoughts on that sauce? Final thoughts on that sauce. A one. What are you, yours? Sauce was good. It's not. It's not a sauce that I would ever have thought myself to make for seafood. Mm -hmm. Um, especially like when I first came across her on YouTube. That's what it looks like, y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, that's what it looks like. But um, I've seen this lady dipping away. Mm-hmm. And this sauce with all of her seafood and eggs and everything else. And I'm like, what kind of brown sauce is that? You know what I'm saying? I would think of just regular butter. Because that's that's how I normally would eat my seafood anyway. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me. I wouldn't think to put onions, garlic, ginger, excuse me, Worcestershire sauce and all these seasonings. Yeah. I would have never tried it myself. So, I mean, I'm glad we stumbled upon her channel. I, I love watching her. I watch I watch her mutt buns all the time. Um. I got She's turned on to and them. funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Along with some other people I watched because I started watching her. But um, it's lovely Mimi. I watch her too. Mm -hmm. I love watching her. She is freaking hilarious. And I think she even tried the sauce or made the sauce herself. But um, I give it a thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up. I, I would actually use it for other stuff too. Because you can actually dip it. Mm -hmm. Dip other stuff in there mm -hmm. too. Not just seafood. Um, but she did good with that one. You know what I'm saying? She did good. Good job, B Love. Good, Good job. Good job, B Love. And we will be tagging you in the uh, in the title and in the description. Here I go shaking the camera again. What I tell you, this video <laughs> should the table. <laughs> anyway, we hope you, we we hope if you made it this far in the video, you guys have enjoyed watching us, listening to us, becoming part of our family, and hopefully you guys stick around. You said for the next video, and the video after that, and the video after that, and become part of the family and tell your friends. Make sure you share it with everybody. But at the end of the day, shout it, I'm good money. I love you, mommy. I love you guys, and we are out. Peace. Be safe. God bless. Hold it in the road. Peace.